Welcome back to this series on architectural simplification. Today we'll be looking at CDC or change data capture. CDC is something that's built into CockroachDB. It's nothing specifically new to CockroachDB, but some databases don't have it. So if you're going to integrate these databases into your architecture, that will entail additional components in order to enable change feeds. In today's demo, I'll be going through a before and after scenario, whereby a service will write to a system of record, which won't have CDC embedded into it, something like Postgres, for example. And to enable change data capture, I'll introduce a third party component, Debezium. You can use other components, but Debezium is a great choice into the architecture. In the after scenario, my service will be unchanged. I'll be writing a message to the system of record, and this time it will be CockroachDB, which does have CDC built in. And therefore I can remove the Debezium component entirely and just publish notifications directly from the database. As with my previous examples, I'll be orchestrating everything through Docker Compose. And this is what the Compose file looks like for the before scenario. I'll have a Postgres container. This will be Debezium's build of Postgres, which ups the write ahead log level to logical and provides some level of authentication via the host base authentication file, the PGHBA file. I'll be publishing messages to Red Panda and I'll be using Debezium Connect to publish those messages, essentially become the change feed. In the after scenario, I'll still be spinning up Kafka, Red Panda, but the only other component I'll be using is CockroachDB. I'll write to CockroachDB and that will publish messages onto Kafka for me. The code is very simple. I have a collection of payments. I'm working in a simulated payment environment and I collect a rolling window of average round trip times. I connect to the database and Kafka and I spin up a Go routine that consumes payments. For each of the payments that I receive, I'll enter a function called compare and print. And all that I'm doing in here is comparing the start and end time just so that I can get a complete round trip time for each of those messages. I feed that into the average rolling window and that gives me a rolling average of round trip times. And then I start a working routine, which after every 100 milliseconds will insert a payment into the database. That will kick off the CDC process in both the before and after scenarios, the former being via Debezium. Let's create the infrastructure. This will be the before example. This will spin up Debezium's Postgres, Kafka, and the Debezium connector. Next, I'll create a topic onto which my payments will be published. Then I'll create the payment table, which will have an amount, an ID, and a timestamp. Next, I'll make a request to the Debezium connector in order to initialize it. It will be a Postgres connector. It has the connection information that it will need, the topic prefix onto which the payment messages will go. And because my amount is expressed as a decimal, my decimal handling amount is double. You can use string as well, but double works for me. Next, I'll consume messages so you can see them arriving onto Kafka, but they'll also be arriving into the application as well, where I'll be collecting the rolling average. Let's start the application and you'll start to see messages appearing here. And then I'll collect the rolling average and print them out. So we published around 200 messages now, and the average we're seeing is around just over half a second. And this is a scenario where the application is writing to the database, which will be connected to Debezium via logical replication. Debezium will then publish a CDC message to Kafka. And that's what both of these applications are now displaying. Let's tear everything down. And now I'll show you the same thing, but this time just using CockroachDB. I'll spin up CockroachDB and Kafka. I'll enable the enterprise features. This is just because of the CDC niceties as with the previous examples. I'll hop onto CockroachDB's SQL terminal. I'll create the same payment table that we had in the Postgres example. I'll enable range feeds, and then I'll create the change feed itself. Whenever a payment is modified, a message will be published onto the Kafka topic that both the application and the Kafka consumer will be waiting for. I'll create the topic and consume from it, and then I'll start the application. So we can see the amounts coming in. And once the rolling window has enough data in it, we'll start to see the rolling averages. And we're seeing again around the half a second total round trip time, maybe slightly below this time. Thanks to CockroachDB's built-in CDC functionality, we've removed a component from our architecture, along with any network hops and latencies that would have involved and any maintenance or upgrades that component would have required. As mentioned earlier, CDC isn't new to CockroachDB, but having it built into CockroachDB allows our customers to drastically simplify their architecture and therefore integrate and maintain less infrastructure.